Hey guys, welcome back to BJ Tech News, episode 62. So, huh, so I wrote this blog uh, a while back, March 30th of this year, and I didn't get the chance to actually create a video. Um, I do have, I still have my MDT 2012 virtual machine up and running because I'm still doing some testing as well as um, I get a lot of emails from people asking questions, so I have to do some testing with my environment so I can answer the stuff correctly. So I would say, let's create a video for this, and uh, hopefully you guys will enjoy it. So you're able to store log files with MDT 2010 as well as 2012. Okay, so the variables are the same within 2010 and 2012. There's two ways to capture logging. You can either do a standard log, which basically uh, stores which stores logs on a network share at the end of the deployment, or dynamic logging, which writes the, slog, the log files in real time to a network slash sent you share throughout the deployment process. Now, I think the dynamic logging is pretty awesome, and that's the one I'm going to show you guys how to do. Um, you guys can either now the standard logging is SL share with the IP address of your MDT server or your DNS um, name of your MDT server, MDT 2010 or 2012 server. I'm using the SL share dynamic logging equals to the name of my server and log. This is a folder that I actually created inside the deployment share. So it's basically I'm doing this one right here. Um, in my blog I really don't recommend it because again there's a lot of traffic happening to your MDT server already so why would you add more traffic? But for this demonstration I'm gonna do it there. Uh, before I even start showing you guys uh, I also wanna show or share this link. I'm gonna put this link at the bottom of the description as well as the, the link for my blog. Uh, but this link is pretty cool. It's uh, SCCM 2007 Toolkit. Uh, one of the tools that I like to use a lot is the Trace32, which allows you to check out the logs in a cool little format way. Uh, I'm going to actually show you guys how to do that. Okay, So let's go into my MDT server. Uh, I actually went to the root of my MDT server, went to properties, and went to rules, and I added the SL share dynamic logging. Assign it to the name of my server, deployment share dollar sign log folder. This, now this log location right here is a folder that I actually created inside my deployment share, as you can see. I could actually put this into the e partition and I'll have to leave it there, but keep it nice and short. Once you add this, uh, make sure you update your deployment and you're ready to go. So I created this dummy little test right here. I'm going to power it up so we can boot into our uh, MDT server. Pixie boot. There we go. The deployments that we want. I'm going to close this up and I will make sure I put those two links at the description so don't worry about that. I'm going to close this up. It's still loading. to my MDT server, minimize this. This is the Trace32, which when you install that, um, when you download the, the toolkit and you install it on the MDT server, or you can actually install it anywhere you want, and you get this folder here and Trace32. You get other little tools as well, which is pretty cool. 
Uh, the one that I use the most is Trace32. So let's open up that location. And because pretty soon you're going to see a file pop up. Okay. So we're going to want that. Do this. Okay. Give it a name. Next. 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 Um, Eastern time. Next. Why not? Next. Don't want to capture. Hit begin. Now, as soon as you do that, there you go. That's the file. Now, if you double click on it, because I have Trace32 tra to be the default of all my log files, um, it would be that. Now, see it's doing the disk part and if you look over here it's doing the disk partition it's live so you basically see everything that's happening one thing I, the one thing i like about this is because you can actually start a machine on the floor let's say you have to re-image a machine on the floor rather than waiting there and waiting there until it errors out or it errors out and you don't know what's going on you can actually go back <laughs> to your workstation on the top floor and the bottom of the basement wherever you they got you uh Go to that floor, pixie boot, run downstairs or upstairs, wherever you at. Uh, double click on that log file and look at it. You know, if it errors out or you get a warning, it highlights yellow. And if it errors out, it highlights red. Right? Pretty easy. And um, then it gives you a brief explanation of what's going on. Or where, where did it error out? Like right now, it's deploying, and I won't do the whole deployment with you guys. But that's about it. That's how you capture logging with MDT 2010 as well as 2012. Um, the variable works for either version, so you can do whatever you want. Um, that's about it, guys. Please leave a comment below. Let me know what you guys think about it. Um, as well as, uh, see that little button right there? Subscribe to my channel and support. Uh, let me know what you guys think as well as give me some feedback. Uh, let me know what you want to see. For the next episode of BJ Tech News. Without you guys, I am not, I won't be here. Uh, so, guys, thank you so much for uh, viewing my video, and I'll see you guys next time. Thank you. Subscribe! Thank you.